Hello, I guess today we are sizing a cold water pressure tank, uh, showing you how to install. Um, tank is typically sized to the gallon per minute of your pump. Uh, if you have a pump that pumps five gallons a minute, uh, the drawdown on your tank should be around five gallons. The drawdown is the amount of water you get from the time you are pressurized at 50 to when the pump would kick on. Uh, so what we what we have here is we have a tank that has about a five to six gallon drawdown, made for about a five gallon a minute pump, and every all the accessories that uh, need to be put on. On your incoming water line, uh, you can come in either side of your tank T. You can come in the right or the left. Uh, a lot of times we suggest a check valve on the incoming side. That will keep the water pressure in the tank, will keep the water pressure from going back against your water pipe. Uh, also on the assembly is your pressure switch. And the pressure switch you choose can have a low pressure cutoff or it can be without. Uh, typically on the wiring of your switch, uh, you will bring your power wire in, 110 on each side, right in the center. Two wires on the outside will go out to the submersible pump. Also, we end up with a gauge on the system so you can read your pressure. Uh, typically, your pressure switch will be a 30 50, 40 60. Pressure in the tank will need to be adjusted to the pressure switch that you put on. Uh, typically, if you put a 30 50 pressure switch on, you will get, uh, well, you need about 27 pounds of air in the tank, which can be checked right on top of the tank. There is a Schrader valve on top of the tank, and you can use a typical tire gauge to check that. And if you check your pressure, you should come up at 27 pounds for a 3050 switch. Also on the assembly, uh, the gauge is on there. You can also put a pressure relief valve, which by code in some states is required. Uh, also, you have a drain valve and a vacuum breaker, which also is required by code in some states. On the out can you tell us about the uh, Union Tank T, what the advantage of that would be, Mike? Uh, Union Tank T, they make the tank T several different ways. You can buy a, a, rigid, a rigid tank tee. It is all one piece. Uh, the tank tee with the union, you are able to take apart at this point. If you, It makes it easy to change the tank if you ever need to change the tank again. That you can break the union and leave all the, all the accessories hooked. All the up. wires and the piping. All the wires and the piping will stay intact. And the uh, threads on the... Uh T. We have mm -hmm. pipe threads inside and outside. Inside and outside. If you look on the outgoing side, uh, many times you will put a, a main shutoff valve in your line. Uh, so this tank T is threaded internal and external. You can go on either, either inside or outside. And we'll put a main shutoff valve on the outgoing side. That way if you have trouble in the house, if you need to shut the valve off, you can close that and shut the house pressure down. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mike, for that explanation. That'll be helpful for someone wanting to set up their pump tank system. All right, sir.